Welcome back. Video number five, I believe, we're up to in our advanced cadet car series. Uh, we're almost done. We've got a couple of little things to finish off. But before we do, let's just have a quick look. And I've got a um, overlay here of our car. Um, looking at the different features uh, compared to the car body we have, we're pretty close on the money. So if I look at my right view and compare it to... Uh, the sketch here we're looking pretty good the front wing we've changed a little bit that's okay we've pulled the front wheel forward a bit more than in the sketch to make sure we fit the rear pod and the rear wing in if we look at the top view so I'll just spin that around whoop too far um Probably didn't get quite as much of a sweep there as I was aiming for, but that's still okay. We ended up bringing that sweep here a lot further forward, so it's sort of there and there. Side pod's looking pretty much right. The rear wing we've brought forward a smidgen, but that's okay. And the rear pod, we've got that little cutout just in there. So all up, we're pretty close to the sketch. Now, what do we need to do to finish this car off? First things first, we've done all the modeling we need to do. So I want to go in and hide all of these extra bits and pieces. So I'm going to, over on my features browser, I'm going to hide the wing plane. I can hide that dimension sketch now, and I'm going to hide my three work planes. So now I've just got my car and that looks so much better. What we need to think about, same as the simple car, is adding some fillets in to mimic what happens in the machining. So, um going to select fillet three millimeters because that's the radius of our cutter and anywhere that is an internal corner we need to add a three mil fillet too so now some of these are going to be a bit of an issue it doesn't like this down the bottom um, which is not overly surprising so if I hit um, just trying to get rid of it. here we go i'm going to get rid of that now this is a bit of a problem it's not liking because of those wings there so yeah something's happening with that that fillet i'm not 100 percent certain i might come back to that one in a little while um front of the canister housing spin the actually sorry not canister housing side pod i need that internal edge there i need to do all the way around the rear wing um and i need to do in the back here as well again it's not liking that which is a bit annoying and there's, there might be a couple of reasons for this. So we might have to do an, this fillet a number of times. If I come in now and try and fillet that, you'll notice it does it. Uh, let's change that back to three. It, it depends on the ordering of things. Sometimes um, the program can only process certain fillets at certain times. If I try fillet that front wing now, uh, it's still not liking this, which is a bit frustrating and I'm again I'm not a hundred percent certain why um, given that bottom edge is red I reckon that's a, a big part of the reason um, yeah there's something on the underside of that possibly what's happening is that um, interaction with this edge here could be part of the concern. Yep, this keeps going red. So that being the case, what I can probably look at doing, maybe I need to change my wing design to make that work a little bit better. And I'll come back to that. The other thing, I've got this massive fillet down in here. Needs to be three millimeters. Um, again, in here, not 100% happy with how much it's put through there. Um, again, we can just try change some of these features. 
Um, leave that circular. But at the end of the day, sort of how much time do you spend trying to get this right? So I'm just going to let that go. It's not beautiful, but this is part of the repercussions of my car design. So uh, what else? I want to get rid of all these square edges. So I'm going to fill it, everything outside. Um... I'm only going to go one mil fill. It's just really small. Try one. Here we go. Just to knock these sharp edges off. Um, now again, here we're having we're having issues because of all these fillets. So what we could probably look at? How about we get rid of that? In fact, sometimes let's have a bit of a play today. We might need to change the order of things for these fillers to work. So if we change to a one mil fillet first on all of these outside edges, it may make things a little bit nicer down the track. At the end of the day, we can only just try and see what happens. So I'm going to go one mil everywhere outside. Um... Not that one. Everywhere there. I want to be careful here. I don't want to select that edge because I've got to mirror this very soon. Um, where else we got? That's one mil. And again, it's not liking that nose cone. So I'm going to just leave that for now. So there's a one mil fillet. Let's go back and try our three mil again. And just see whether this changes how things work. And you see now it's wrapped up, wrapped that straight around. It just seems to work a little bit nicer. There you go. That one's still an issue. Um, play with that later. I need to do in here. That's fine. And need to do around the rear wing. That one's fine. I reckon that front's still going to be an issue. Try again. Three millimeters. And you can see that one just seemed to work fine. So that's all good. Um, let's just try this. Bit of a trick. Let's just try change the size. And again, no, it's not liking it. Um... So for this to work, I think I'm going to have to change my front wing shape. That's okay. Uh, what else we got? Now, I'll leave that. That can stay there. I want to put a 2 mil fillet on the wing just to smooth it out. Make it the same as the Z, um, front edges. So I'm going to select all of that. That looks nice. Do the same on the front, even though I'm going to come back and change this in a minute. And again, not liking that front wing, so definitely got to work on that front wing. Okay, so rename these straight away. So one millimeter external fillet. Um, rename this. So this is an internal fillet. Fillet three. Three millimeter. And I'm going to call it three millimeter internal fillet canister. Uh, fillet four was my two millimeter. And I'm going to call it a wing fillet. So everything's looking pretty good apart from this front wing. So I'm going to have to change this. Let's come back to our sketch five. I can double click on it. And, right, how are we going to change this wing? So, first things first, I'm going to delete this tangent constraint. So if I click where the, the front edge meets the body, I'm going to click on it and delete um, sketch entity. Hopefully now I can grab that, nope, wrong one. Okay, let's put that tangent back. 
So I need to find, here we go. Um, delete that. Can I move this off the, nope, still got one more to go somewhere. This one. Delete. See, there's a highlight over, it shows me what they are. So now I should be able to, here we go. Um, I've got to put a tangent back. Actually, no, I need to use this one here, which is a coincidence. So I want that line to touch that circle all the time. Um, so I'm just going to bring this up just to... Again, we're just having a play here to see if this changes anything in our case for the better. Um, so I'm going to finish that. You go, to recalculate it. I'm going to come back. I'm just going to try another fillet. Radius is going to be three. And look at that. It's worked. So just by changing the shape a tiny little bit makes all the difference. So three, oops, sorry, rename it. Three millimeter. And should mention it's an internal. Great. I'm going to go back to this two mil fillet and just try and add that front edge. And there you go. This one seems to have worked. So we're having a bit of a win here. I think that's pretty much done. Um, Two more things and the car is finished. We need to mirror it, which is very important because obviously we can't have just half a car. So for the mirror, we're going to use the mirror command up the top here. We want to mirror the entire part. So click entities. The mirror plane is going to be the center of the car. So click that and there's my car. Done. Look at that. Easy. We're missing two features. So. I want to do a sketch on the very back of the car. The two features, if you haven't guessed by now, we're going to, we need a circle that is going to be 19 millimeters diameter. And we need to make sure, a couple of things. I need to align that with our right plane. So I'm going to use my coincident center onto the right plane this is going to put that in the center of the car and i want to use this concentric which is awesome because i'm going to click on the hole i've just or the circle i've just drawn i'm going to click on the back of the car and that now aligns that circle in the center of the canister housing which is really good and then the next one i want to do i need to put the tether line slot in so Rectangle, we want this, I'm just going to click, that can sit there. I want it six millimeters wide and six millimeters high. Hit enter. And I want to use this midpoint constraint. I want the midpoint of that rectangle to sit on my origin and hit done. So from this sketch, I'm actually going to do two extrusions. The first one is going to be the canister hole. And this is going to be 52 millimeters deep. Which is awesome. Done. The next one. Now I need to come back over and show sketch 10 so I can see it again. I'm going to extrude, select my tether line slot, remove and make sure this is going to be through all because I want to have it cut through the entire body. In fact, if I swing around the front, I can now see that slot here. And I believe the car's finished. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Um, looks nice, looks nice. Tell you what, that one mil external fillet, I wonder if I can add this to it. Oh, no. Okay, so let's not bother. Instead, I'm going to grab my, this is um, end of file. Whoop, where is it? There it is. End of file up above the mirror. And let's just try another fillet. Let's go one millimeter. 
and will it let me fill it? It's thinking, hey, look at that. Again, it just takes that, that sharp edge off the car. And these are things you just got to go play with. So take my end of file marker or rollback bar, move it down past the extrusions. And now, go back, let's just hide all these. Quick rename. Rename is canister hole. And this one is tether line slot. So rename. Oop, spell right, be nice. Tether line slot. Line. And we've got a finished advanced or slightly more advanced cadet car. Um, we've got a you know, beautiful shaped body. Got the canister housing, housing, side pod, rear pod, front wing, rear wing. Um, I believe it's fully compliant. And, and really now it's up to you. You know, you can look at that and go, oh, actually, I don't like the shape of this. I want to modify this. You can see I had to modify the wing in order for that fillet to work. Um, all these other options now come into play. Anyway, um, good luck. See if you can recreate this or something similar. And we'll catch up again soon, starting to create an assembly of the car, putting some wheels on it and get ready for machining. See you next time.